So, so this video we will create a drill down report. So for that we will use the Query Studio. Because so Query Studio it's easier to create a dynamic drill down report. So let's choose our package test one. So it's loading, it's taking some time. Okay, so it looks like it has uh, loaded. So in a query wizard, you have your tool, and then you have on the left side, you have all your um, data model items. So now let's see. So somehow our, uh, our dimension hasn't shown up. And the reason being is that we did not publish our package. See, remember, we every time you change the model, you have to publish your package. So let's republish our package. And then you just select all the default options. It says that you do want to overwrite your existing package. You say yes. Just done publishing. So that's just a report. Okay. So now let's see if it shows here. Now sometimes I have seen is that if you republish your package after opening the query tool or report studio, it doesn't uh, refresh the package. Uh, refresh and refresh this info even if you uh, even if you refresh the uh, package so so let's see if we can any if we can uh, so I'm trying to see if we can refresh uh, the left side so that we can get the latest So looks like we haven't got it yet. So let's just close it and relaunch it. So we have uh, relaunched it and now we are seeing all the uh, latest uh, additions to the f our model. So now since you haven't seen the if you haven't seen the query uh, studio before so this is another tool uh, to create uh, quick reports so let's first drag our um, let's first select a uh, report type so for if you want to create a report with uh, drill downs so you either have to select a cross tab report which is um, So these are one of the, these are the different types of reports. So you have to select which report you cre want to create. So pivot, uh, create cross tab reports or um, group. So these either these two you have to select. So let's select group. Okay. So first we have to. It says that you have to select at least one element. So let's drop now our first. Okay, so it has uh, put the element. So this is pretty much drag and drop. So, and then you select the element and okay. So now it has selected. Now let's put uh, let's put a cells amount. Okay. So now let's try to run the report. So select the play. So what we did is we drag our uh, hierarchical dimension, which basically has the drill down, 
uh, as you see here it has all locations with a link so if you now run the report you would like to see the there, there is a drill down with all locations and then how the cell amount changes depending on what level it is at okay so we just now ran the report so it this is our first space what it is saying is that for all locations together uh, that this is the sale amount so here all locations means remember our first level was country so what this is saying is that all countries together this is the sale amount so in our case we had only US and Canada uh, so here as you see Canada and US so Canada is nothing so that's why you have blank and you have US as zero now as you see we are having a dynamic drill down here see I haven't uh, you know entered any formula or anything here it's all uh, being driven by the default implementation so meaning when you create a hierarchical uh, dimension just like the way we did and, and we drag into a report it automatically builds the tree so now as you see we click on USA and then it builds three regions and it gives the sales region breakup so now it click click on Southwest now see it's showing two agents of uh, two agents uh, for the southwest with in individual uh, ID. Now on top of this, you can uh, put a chart here. So or maybe that chart we can create in Report Studio. So let's say now we have created this basic structure of a report. So you can save it, and you can uh, you can open this report within report studio and then tune it further so sometimes for drill down reports especially I have seen you are better off creating the report within first query studio so create the bas basics report and then add more add or enhance it within the report studio so just to re recap create first in query studio open it in save it and then open it in uh, report studio so let's open in report studio so let's launch that so we are launching the report studio and we want to we want to use uh, we want to open that saved report from query studio and we'll probably add a chart or enhance the title of the report and add other uh, things so we say open an existing report and then we say drill down report see this is the what we saved because our package name is test1 so it saves in test1 uh, under test1 package so so here we have our report so now here you can add a title or I think you have to double click here so and then here you can so you can add uh, different things so for example if you want to add a space so you have added a little space here and then let's now add a chart here So you can add a chart or you can add other controls so I'm not going to go over that again because you probably know uh, what is it how to do a chart but one thing is interesting is that uh, as you change the data the chart also get updated so maybe you may want to uh, see it how it happens so let's add a chart here So let's select this one okay and then again if you remember we have to associate it with a query so I think looks like it has already associated itself with uh, change the query 
if you remember uh, from our past lessons, we have to associate the chart with a query because Cognos by default creates a new query uh, which has nothing pretty much. So you would associate with the existing query and then save it first. Uh, let's say drill down report one. So I'm just giving a different name. And then after that you can follow the different uh, the same methods which you learned uh, about chart creation.